Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about Monsteras. They're actually my favorite houseplant, and they're what really got me interested in and wanted to keep houseplants. I had all different kinds of houseplants before, but they really didn't pique my interest. What got me started was my first Monstera. It's not Big Bertha back there. It's another one that I have over in the corner that I'll show you guys in just a sec. The reason why I got so interested was because she just wouldn't die. Not that I was intentionally doing it, but I would neglect her, over water, underwater, too much sun, too little sun, and she just kept coming back. There was a point where she only had one leaf, and she just kept thriving, so I really wanted to figure out how I could really make her grow. And from there, I just kept wanting more and more. I'll show you all the different types of monsteras I have. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to help yours grow. And I will give you a little secret. I just bought a new one today online and I did spend a pretty penny on it, but I've always wanted one. And again, they're my favorite. So I'm gonna show you my girl that I still to this day don't know how she's dead. So this is her, right? You can see that she is not as big as Big Bertha, but she certainly is holding her own. This is my Monstera Albo. She's my favorite. Then my Thai Constellation. And then my Adas and I, I gave a clipping of this to my mom. This is my Spider-Man Monstera. You can see the webbing and my mini Monstera. So now for a few tips to help you keep a monstera. Monsteras really like to be root bound. So that means they, they like to have their roots really tight in their pot. If you see that they're really extra root bound, you can put it in a new pot, but you don't want to go into a pot that's any bigger than two inches larger. Next, they don't like to have soggy wet roots. So after you give your monstera a nice thorough watering, you don't want to water it again until it's completely bone dry. After that, monsteras like bright indirect sunlight. Over there, neither of those windows get direct sunlight on them. I also have a grow light on mine. Grow lights are great because they won't burn your leaves because the heat isn't as hot as the sun. Your, your monster can get direct sunlight, but only for a short period of time or your leaves will get crispy. I hope these tips help you and encourage you to go out and buy a monstera.